In this video, we're going to focus on the CSS style with data attributes. And data attributes is something very useful. Basically, what it does is it allows you to add more information in the in the tags without using the standard text information or a ID or a class. So we can incorporate extra information that might be useful for us. So for example, let's say this. We have here a, a list. Let's make a unordered list and in this unordered list we have here a list item like our to-do list and I'm going to add here three items so what we can do here is for example we're going to say here uh, buy bread and uh, get coffee and here well uh, eat fruits there we are so we have three items here and for example, if you've done something very common, it would be here class. It is a class, and here I will say done. And if it's done, then we have here, of course, our class name of done. Let me say here, maybe background color green or something like that. Doesn't matter. So if I save this now and refresh, we have it like this. However, we can also do it slightly different by indicating this as a to-do item, and then give it here an attribute. And the data attribute would indicate then if it's done or not. So this is some extra information without having it a lot here because very often what will happen here is done and you have another one is maybe urgent uh, and, and uh, after that you have another one which is um, pending, I have no idea. You can imagine it's like an email process, pending, etc, etc. And it's very common that you have that many different classes here and that would load up here without being very descriptive and very often it will be like uh, done, to-do list. Uh, item green something like that this is a very common process then after you get too many items so we don't want this how can we simplify this let's call, call this very simple r to do or to do item doesn't matter but that's the class here that's the starting point then what i want to do here is basically work with the data structure for sorry not data structure data attributes and the data attributes does the following let's say here data Dash, and then we can give it anything we want. Let's say item, item done, or item uh, status. That will be one. And then here, we put in here, and then we just indicate here eventually the status that we want. We can make this in double quotation, and let's say this one is done. We bought our bread. Then we have another one, we get the coffee, is uh, pending. And finally, we have this one here, uh, not yet or I guess pending or urgent for example here eat fruits urgent all right so how can we connect this now nicely well because if we save this here and refresh you see nothing happens if I open up my developer tab with the inspector element and then you can start to see we do have information stored in here it shows it here as an information but it's not visible for the eye it's only in the code itself so let's start to give this color so we're going to remove all of this and then here we say the following we're going to grab here the class name which is the to do or the to do item whatever you want to call this and then in here before you even give it any color we have to do the following here because this is very important here we're going to say your bracket and then we just grab this item here basically entirely from start to end and paste that in there and now what happens is we can start to grab all this information here. What is very important here, data is a required text. You always need to have data dash. Without data dash, it will not work. You need to have this. So then we can say if it's done, what we can say here is background green. And then of course what we can do as well is we can imagine that there's multiples. We have one is pending. We make that yellow. And we have another one that's urgent. And we can make this, uh, yeah, I guess red. That would be the most logical one. So if I save this now, refresh, you can see here now we have changed the colors here based on our status. And if we change this, let's say this is done. Oh, sorry, no, not like that. We say here it's done. Save that. Refresh. You can see here now instantly it changes from uh, yellow to green. And this is basically what you can do with the data structure for data attributes.
Of course, there's so much more. Another video that I'm going to recommend you to watch as well, where we're going to start to combine this with an on-click that when we click it in JavaScript as well.